Hey everybody, my name is Rowan Wintersong, and this is Diablo 4. So, I've actually played, been playing this game with my family a little bit, um, and my brother, which is basically who um, I mostly made the channel for, my, my brother and my family, so that way they could watch if they are interested. Um, specifically though, my brother, uh, who's got a kid and another one coming along the way, used to play video games, and now he pretty much can't because he's got no time um, so I figured that he can live vicariously through me and enjoy the story at least I can play do story playthroughs for him so that way he can experience that and anyway so that's what we're doing here uh, basic rules are I keep the talking to a minimum when there's um, NPCs are talking uh, I you know, cutscenes, etc. Just common sense things. I might say something every now and then because I can't help myself. <laughs> but generally speaking, I keep the talking to a minimum uh, during those points. Uh, I can do some explaining on my build, um, whatever builds that I choose, um, if you want. Um, I might do some basic explanations, um, even if you guys don't say anything. Um, that's basically it. So I'm going to play a barbarian. Um, I am used to barbarian, and I want to be at least somewhat competent. So that's what I'll do for uh, the run. I played a male last time, a bald bearded man. So let's pick a lady, big buff lady. I dig it. I dig it. Actually, she's pretty cute. For a buff lady. <laughs> she could probably destroy me. <laughs> like the black eyes, actually. Let's see. I like that. Black, little little highlights in there. Looks pretty nice. I think she's cute, but she looks like she could beat my face in. Exactly how a lady barbarian in a fantasy archetype should look. <laughs> According to who, right? Let's see. Keep the makeup to a minimum. Jewelry, let's see. Oh, I should get rid of the hair that way. I can see the jewelry. Hmm. All right. Facial hair. Oh, eyebrows. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I mean, I guess this is 2023, right? Eyebrowless. No, no. Yeah, why not? What do you think? Maybe blood? She's a berserker, right? Eh, I like blue. That's why they call me Winter Song. I like blue. And white. And black. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do the campaign. Let's see. Hmm. Just stick with the winter song, I guess. Seasonal. 
so we can continue after the story and take place and uh, participate in all the new stuff. We'll do a veteran. Keep it uh, challenging. All right, here we go. Sanctuary was never meant for humankind. It was forged as a refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. Instead, it became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was. And Sanctuary's ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. This is the story of their downfall. Ugh. I should find better shelter before I freeze. Alright. That scene's over. Looks like I've got some abilities to spend already. Um, I am a seasonal, right? Okay. I am seasonal, just making sure. So that's Lunging Strike. That gives me a little bit of a... Not exactly a teleport, but I do kind of... I, I lunge at my enemies so that way I close the gap. Gap closers are important. So that makes this easily better of the four here. Um, but here are the choices. Flay. You can read them. I'll mouse over them. You can just pause. Frenzy. Which I think we all know about. 
and bash. Okay. But I'm a lunging strike fan. Combat lunging strike. Berserking versus bleeding. So for now, it's going to be bleeding. We'll change it later. And we can do that. We can change. And we're going to do whirlwind. And this one. I think that's all. Okay. Just to claim all this real quick. more skill point to spend. This one for now. Bleeding um, synergizes with something I get a little later on. I think it's this one. Yeah. Puts a slow effect on enemies and everything will be bleeding that I touch basically. Um, and then also it increases the damage to vulnerable. Then up here at the very top. Um, core skills can make people vulnerable. So basically it's a little bit of a synergy going on between those. And it doesn't actually take that long <clears throat> to get that far down in the talent tree. So I'll be proactive for now. So one of the cool things about this game is that you can right click where you're going to and it'll put a little path for you to follow so that you don't bring have to bring the map up over and over again. He's like a She-Hulk. staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. No one should live in fear. I will cleanse the old ruins of evil. Truly? Oh, thank you. Got a level already, huh? We'll go with our first shout. This will increase our movement speed and resource generation. For me and any allies I'm with, by the way. It's a group, uh, good group skill. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's a bit cramped. It's still better than a cave. Alenta went a bit deaf last winter. You might need to speak up around her. Ah, uh, nothing special about our little town, but it's home. 
We'll do what we can for him. Might have to keep him in the shed for now, though. He tried to bite off Osman's fingers. <laughs> Fire's looking good. But I should watch it a little longer. To make sure it doesn't go out. A warm hearth. There are still things to be grateful for in this world. If Devnir's taking up all the space by the fire, just give him a shove. <laughs> what? What's that? Y you say something? Oh, you poor thing. Traveling in this awful weather. Alright, let's go to the ruins and kill the demons that are supposedly spilling out of it. I like the graphics in this game. It's actually really good. Especially considering they're still good if you zoom in. It's not bad, right? Sorry, Peter. You can dodge a little bit in this game, by the way. It's more like a charges. Uh, you have one charge of evade, that's what it's called. So you can kind of dodge out of the way. It kind of helps because not every class is as mobile as, you know, other classes. Uh, for example, Druid. Druid's an example of a class that's generally not quite as mobile and fast as others. Um, at least if you're not going werewolf. <laughs> So you're going to be a little bit slower, but it's good to have an ability to quickly get out of like, you know, instead of standing in fire, you know, being stuck in fire, that kind of thing.
I've done this intro uh, a few a few times. <laughs> I kind of know what the enemies are, like what enemies are what. So if it seems like I know what I'm doing, I kind of do. <clears throat> that does not make me an expert in this game, to be clear. But um, I'm not going to be surprised by much uh, at the beginning of the game, for sure. I got a point to spend here. Let's see. Thorns, life. I can increase. I'm going to go in that direction, go fortify. Fortify is a complicated stat. So is overpower. These are all like new stats to this game that weren't in the previous ones, or at least not in. Diablo 3 or 2 as far as I can tell um, I don't know about one I honestly never played Diablo 1 oh jeez look at me talking about like I know where I'm going and I'm like running way back to the beginning <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> there we go that's better Another thing's a little different is the potions. So you start out with, I think you start out with four potions if you haven't completed the story before and gotten all the little, some of the upgrades. Uh, the potions, you have nine of them and you can refill them by picking up health orbs from the ground. Um, every class is like that with the exception of possibly the necromancer i think necromancer does something else with the health or orbs i just don't know what it is but otherwise that's how the potions work you can refill them just by picking up the orbs on the ground <clears throat> the orbs probably get uh, more and more rare um as you increase the difficulty Okay, so <clears throat> I believe the way this works, as a Barbarian at least, is if I have a specific weapon equipped, then I will get these little bonuses. Um, as, I, like, as I use certain weapons, I get experience in them. And this levels up and I get these little bonuses that you see 
you know, on mouse over here for using these weapons. So if, I've, if I'm using an ability that has a two-handed mace, or uses the two-handed mace, rather, I get these little uh, bonuses for using that. Um, same thing with all these other weapons here. And then at level 15, I have the ability to do a quest that's a class-specific quest for Barbarian, where I unlock a technique and I can actually choose one of these to have on permanently, regardless of what weapons I've got equipped. So I can equip the two-handed sword bonus expertise, for example, and it'll do the bleeding damage um, that I would, as if I were using a two-handed sword, whether I have a two-handed sword equipped or not. So I have get basically two bonuses from this. I get whatever I'm actually uh, holding in my hands for, you know, each ability that I have, because I switch. You could switch, like right now, as you can see, it's using the two-handed uh, two handed hammer for this ability. But technically, I could go up here, hit my middle mouse button, and change the weapons to dual wielding, bludgeoning, slashing, etc. It does auto choose what it considers to be the highest damage weapon for each situation. Um, there are some abilities that will only use a specific weapon. For example, example, uh, Hammer of the Ancients will only use a hammer. Obviously, it's kind of in the title. Anyway, that's uh, what expertise is, if you're wondering. All right, fortify. Fortify is basically a protection stat. Um, you get, it's kind of like a second health bar. It's not really a health bar. You get um, a percentage off of damage based off of how much Fortify you've got, kind of. It's difficult to explain. Um, it's a pretty decent stat, but it's not like the be all end all of uh, protection stats for sure. I think barrier's better, but that's just me. Fortify's good because it'll take a percentage off the damage that you do get, though. So, uh, in incoming damage. Uh, I've got new weapons. So it's highlighting the slot that it goes in, if you... Okay, we're good. The old ruins are <clears throat> clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly! Ha! Huh. By the light, you are heaven sent! Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer, but we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. To our savior. <laughs> as long as I don't start twerking on the table. <laughs> Potent stuff. This is a very dark game, by the way. Uh, that's backed by popular request, apparently.
My mother's blood. My mother's body. So, uh, shall you witness her glory before you die? <laughs> Not ready yet. They're coming. The whole damp village. Get up. Get up. We have to fight our way out. There. Take them. May the light preserve us. Guess he wasn't crazy. <laughs> you are blessed like us now. That was all of them. Night willing. Madman. Those heretics drugged me after I returned from the ruins. Just like you. I came to my wits and escaped. Tried to get inside the chapel, but it was locked and... <coughs> what manner of evil is this? Petals? Of blood? <laughs> They... They must have fed them to me. A blasphemous ritual. How did they learn this? Perhaps the answer lies in the chapel. They kept it locked up for a reason. The key might be on that woman who was leading them. I like the sword better, not the pole arm. I think this turns into a waypoint later. Blood petals. Like the ones I was fed. Is this real? Shameful. Our Father has granted you a path to salvation. And yet, you stray from it at every opportunity. You drink and gamble. You covet and steal. Shameful. My children, 
The Lords of Hell are coming to devour our world. Salvation lies not in the light, but in you. The faith has taught you to deny your heart's desire and turned you into a prisoner within yourself. Break the chains and discover who you were meant to be. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. your child into this world. Damn. <laughs> that face. had swallowed you. I dragged you here and put this cursed place to the torch. What happened to you in there? I saw... a vision. A horned demon. She said the lords of hell are coming. She wanted to help the people survive. Help them? She called them her children. And they welcomed her, like a mother. Mother? No, it cannot be. I must report to the cathedral. Listen, there is a hermit to the northeast, a man of questionable loyalty, but he knows of the forbidden. He might be useful to us. Bring him to the cathedral in Kiovashad, and you will be in the light's favor. <laughs> ah, nice. It comes with a vicious and malignant socket. That's a seasonal socket, by the way. Curious. Looking for the town priest. He stopped sending tithes, and I came to find out why. As I neared the village, I sensed darkness around the ruins. I went to investigate, found the priest's body. Demons. Foolishly, I took shelter in Nevesk and ate their food. You know the rest. Do not call her that. It is a demon, Lilith. The gospel says that she will walk among the people, posing as the mother of sanctuary. If she is here, uh, it is humankind's own sin that has brought her. He surrounds himself with dark knowledge. Tread carefully, and pray he has not fallen to Lilith as well. Let's go there. It's on. It's on the way.
Well, that's it. <laughs> I think I missed an altar over here. Now, technically, I've already gotten all of the altars of Lilith. I was very thorough before the season started. Um, I think I explained all that in one of my other videos. Um, but these little altars here, they give you little buffs. So that's why, even though, um, you know, even though I'm a low level, I've already got skill points and stats and stuff like that. Oh, uh, hell. I probably have a horse. Yep, I've got a horse. I think my character looks pretty badass. Oh, there's also gathering and crafting in this game. Which there was crafting in the previous games too, but um, the gathering wasn't quite the same as it is here where you've got little, you know, nodes that you can... There's also mining nodes and stuff like that too. Short fangs, young, freshly turned, an easy kill, further south than the others. They're spreading. Supper. I'm bloody hungry.
That's quite the story. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. Why did I have that vision? Thank those friendly villagers. They gave you the blood of Lilith. The blood of a demon? Not just any demon. The daughter of hatred. The mother of sanctuary. She was banished ages ago. But this world is her creation. <sighs> it was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. But Lilith serves neither side. She has her own plans for us. And me? Am I corrupted? Not sure yet. But you two share a connection. What will you do about it? Use it. Find out what she's after. Good. Then we're in this together. Rest while you can. Then we'll start in Kiovashad. If we can't stop Lilith, we'll all be damned. Didn't get anything from that. Get our next shout here, challenging, uh, challenging shout, which is technically a taunt, but it's a taunt that gives us 40% uh, damage reduction. Taunt does come in handy uh, to protect protect your allies if you're coming if you're playing with a group, which I often do. Okay, don't know what that says. The angel in Arius. I'm sure you've heard the Cathedral of Light babbling about their holy father. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. And when he learns that Lilith is here, blood will flow. They are ancient enemies. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud unless we can stop it. Let's not linger. Kiovashad lies just ahead. I believe there's a, an event over here we should go do. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's an event if you look on the mini map there. Help, please. What 
That gap closer really comes in handy. They will attack her if you don't. Yeah, see? Gotta be careful. to get those little shamans they'll uh, resurrect resurrect their allies cool so we got new weapon two new weapons get some shoes shoe got shoe guy <laughs> sorry okay all right let's go to kyovishad We have no time for this. <sighs> to enter Kyobushad, you must perform a cleansing ritual. It's a meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in it. How dare you! Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine, but this one stays. I'll meet you inside. Take a piece of holy cedar wood from the shrine and inscribe it with the sin which troubles you. Then cast it into the brazier. As the fire burns the wood, so too will the light burn away your sin. Hmm. Fear. must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Welcome to Kyovashad. Well, a man that old has lived through some dark days. Explains why he's so cross. Seem too old. What, in his, uh, 60s, maybe? 50s? So, what did you write on that piece of wood? Something about fear or cowardice, perhaps? Well, it matters little, I suppose. I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know what part he plays in all this. But first, I need you to retrieve something of mine while I finish my negotiations. A merchant in the center of the city has it. Just tell him I sent you. 
sacrificing, summoning demons, honing all the wonderful gifts that Lilith gave them. The cathedral loves to go on about him. His imprisonment in hell, his valiant escape, his glorious return here, the world he created. Well, they never mention how being tortured in hell for a few millennia turned you into an ass. There was a prophecy, yes. It foretold the rise of the prime evils, the return of Lilith and Inarius, the doom of our world. Inarius adopted the prophecy for his own selfish purposes, put it in the Cathedral of Light's gospel, and made it seem like he would be the hero to save us. Crack toes, sway back, cloudy eyes. This poor thing is practically crow bait. With what you're paying, you're lucky she has four legs. I'm gonna change my horse. Hey, warded Mustang. Oh, right, that's the seasonal reward. Okay. And you get mounted armors. Actually, that's really badass. <laughs> this is the one I was using earlier, which looks pretty cool too, but... Yeah. I like that. This one, you could still see his markings. This one kind of covers up most of the markings. You could still see some of them. Uh, I'm not a big fan of horns on the horse armors. Looks pretty cool, though. You can put a trophy on them, too. That looks more like what a barbarian would carry. Got our waypoint here. We're going to change how we look, too. So here's the stash inside the inn, and this is a wardrobe where you can change your uh, your transmog or how you, how you look. Like what you're wearing and, hell, even your actual appearance and stuff, too. Damn, girl. <laughs> and your headstone. When you die and you're in a group, this is what your headstone looks like. And all the... <clears throat> Your group members just have to click it to revive you. Um, it's like a channel, but yeah. Save. I've got all these saved in here from when I was uh, <clears throat> doing the main uh, the main quest. I like that actually. It's like a cape. Everything the same. There we go. Looks pretty cool. A little bulky at the waist. Yeah. Not that one. Maybe that. That one actually looks pretty cool too. Actually, I think that one goes with the chest piece. Fur-lined pants. Fur-lined ro- Okay, it does. <laughs> it looked like it was part of a set. Fur-lined boots. 
for line mittens. Mitts. Eh, I don't like this. That one's kind of cool. It's okay. I like gauntlets. Oh. Maybe. Both those, those look pretty cool. Change the color scheme scheme. Keep it with blue. Blue looks good. We could do weapons too. Trans transmog weapons. And a back trophy since I have one. I like I like running around with something that looks like a shield on my back. I like the arsenal too. That's pretty much why I picked Barbarian, because you got all these weapons and you know you can carry them on your waist, on your back. I think it looks really cool. Even if it is like, you know, unrealistic. Probably. All these weapons and you know, it's just cumbersome. That one. Oh wow. See some of these I didn't even know I had. Let's go through them. I like the two-handed sword better. That looks cool. Maybe. Like that. Eh. I'll go with that one. Blade, huh? Actually, I actually like the Lich Blade, it looks cool. So we'll choose that for both. And confirm. See? Look how badass we look. Is it common for devout folk to drink so enthusiastically? <laughs> I guess I can't blame them. I really like details. So every time they have some stuff to say, I always try to hear it out. I was never religious until I saw a miracle. Inarius himself blessed the man with the light, got up and walked again for the first time in years, right then and there. The light is real, my friend. Take comfort in it. <laughs> you can't take a few steps without hearing about it. The great war against evil. The day Inarius takes all of us up to the heavens with him. I hope my cat will come with us too. <laughs> day and night they stream into town. Polite folk. And they always pay their tabs. Not like some of the locals around here. All right, so we have the merchant here, armor merchant, and also the blacksmith. Blacksmith, you're going to be using a lot, or you should be. You break down everything. You could sell some stuff too, but crafting materials um, are important. Come back and as you know, gold you end up getting, you know. Let's see. So the old man's finally decided to buy it back. Knowing him, he didn't mention coin, did he? <laughs> if he wants his weapon, you will need to pay. <laughs> Wait. The old man sold me this too. He said he didn't need it anymore, but... I think he'd want it back all the same. No charge.
see even stuff like this, reading the little descriptions and stuff. It all adds to the game. It adds to the lore, adds to the story. Every bit of it. And I like details. Ah, apologies. You give me my money back? Give me this amulet. What is it? The mark of the Haradrim. An ancient order of scholars and mages. Sworn to protect sanctuary from demons. These days, we are few in number. There is another Haradrim. Donan. His breadth of knowledge about demons is equal only to his hubris. Sounds like he could help us. Hmm. You should seek him out in Skosglan. But don't forget about the cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me? I'm going to the dry steps to find out who that pale man is. Join me when you can, just be careful. Your ties to Lilith, the visions you see, you are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Sometimes our paths in life are set to collide. We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. Different lives and incidents drawn together. By what? Destiny? Or some greater power pulling the strings? I did not know. But at the time, I thought I had the chance to protect humanity from the Daughter of Hatred. The Wanderer's connection to her gave me hope. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, I guess uh, we're at about an hour and ten minutes or so, so this would be a good place to call it. Um, we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you did. And uh, I hope you have a good night. Thanks for watching.